Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. So this is our lesson 14 as part of our Tosca Advanced Training or it's a lesson 29 as an overall Tricentis Tosca Training. So this is our part 3 of Conditional Statements and Loops. As you already know, I've already published two parts. Part 1 covering if then else statements, part 2 covering do statements and in this part I'm going to cover how can we use while statements while using or while automating your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. So while Conditional statement. So first of all, when you create while statements, Tosca will automatically create two objects. One is loop object and the other one is conditions object. So if the condition is fulfilled, test steps within the loop object are run repeatedly until the condition is no longer fulfilled. So while statements contain the property called maximum repetitions in order to avoid infinite loops. That means because first it searches for the condition, it enters to the loop and the loop repeats until the condition does not meet. What if the condition whatever you automated it does not meet forever then it's going to go for the infinite loops. That's why you can define maximum repetitions for any while loops. Okay. So now let us see the order of conditions. So first while comes and then the condition within the while statement comes and then loop within the while statement comes. Okay. So now let us jump onto the system and see an example by automating one test case or a scenario and we will use the while statement while you automating our test case. So this is my Tosca latest version 16. Okay. So before we start using while statement while automating our test case, let me explain you what is the scenario that we are going to automate so that I can use while very effectively. Okay. So let's go back to my web shop. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to automate empty shopping cart scenario. What it means? So before I execute any test case, right? I want to make sure that your shopping cart is empty. Okay. So for that, once you are into shopping cart, so if you see, this is your shopping cart table. So at the back end, it's a web table where your all the items will be stored. Okay. So, I need to empty the shopping cart. How? Check the item. If the shopping cart exists any item, check this, click on update shopping cart. That will remove that item. And again, I want to check, do I have any items? Yes, I found one other item. Check this, click on update shopping cart. So now, do I have any other item into shopping cart? Yes, check this and update shopping cart. Do you have any other item in the shopping cart? No. Now I need to exit. I mean exit means I need to click on log out, wait until login appears and then close the browser. Okay. That's what I need to automate. That is the scenario. Okay. So let's go back to my Tricentis Tosca. So as I told you, I need to create a new workspace and I need to import the TSU file, additional material based TSU file so that I will have some predefined libraries and predefined modules that are already created. So if you want to access all these materials like presentation, PDF and then these um, TSU files, you can basically go to my Udemy course. You can subscribe to my Udemy course. I'm going to leave my uh, Udemy course in the description. Okay. Um, where you can access all the artifacts and 
and also in fact you can simply access the entire workspace that I am working on okay so now let's go here and create a new workspace okay so let's name this as automation specialist level 2 and I want to use a workspace template here I don't want to use a standard TSU. I want to use this one. Okay. Additional material based TSU. Browse this. And then, yeah, this is the one. Okay. This is the one I want to use. And then open this. Now click on OK. So now it is going to create a new workspace where you will have some predefined activities basically predefined test case folders predefined uh, uh, modules are the controls okay that are already captured okay and here so once you land on here i'm going to create a new reusable test block because see emptying a shopping cart is a reusable function so anytime multiple test cases i can reuse that right so that's why i'm going to use reusable test blocks okay so if you remember in my previous uh, uh, specialist level one sessions right have i explained you how to create libraries and then how can you create reusable test blocks right so if you see this is my library i want to create a new reusable test block here okay right click create new reusable test block and name this as empty shopping cart okay so this is my new reusable tester block let's concentrate on empty shopping cart now let us insert the modules i want to insert the module called top menu three times okay first insert the top menu and name this as navigate to shopping cart navigate to shopping cart done let me insert one more time same top menu module and name this as logout and let me insert one more time top menu okay and this time name this as wait until logged out logout wait until logged out logged out okay and then now i want to insert a standard module called close browser right close browser that's it now let us insert the values okay first what we are going to do you need to click on a shopping cart correct let's click on that means i need to put some x value here and your action mode as input and then i need to click on logout so basically of course once you go to the shopping cart you will be performing removal of the emptying the shopping cart i'm going to tell you that okay and logout once you log out you need to wait until this login link appears so for that here you need to provide the login visible visibility criteria if it is visible right visible is equal to true wait until visible is true that means i need to select the action mode as wait on so i am instructing tasker wait until this login is visible true okay until login visible true right so once that is done once that is done now i'm going to close the browser correct so here title of the browser is demo star i'm using regular expression okay done now here now i need to perform empty once i go to the shopping cart i need to perform empty right emptying the shopping cart so for that let me introduce a new test step create while 
create while statement okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let's collapse all this i need to bring this while loop after navigate to shopping cart after navigating to shopping cart i want to perform some actions what i need to empty the shopping cart correct so now first let's concentrate on condition under while loop let's go to condition so here i want to import a module called shopping cart correct so i have to go to the shopping cart under shopping cart i need to verify if this shopping cart has a shopping cart table if you remember if you add any item that item will be stored in the table correct let me add some items okay let's log in and add some items so that you understand very well so go to appearance and choose add jeans add something add bag right so now you go to shopping cart i want to verify if the table exist right this shopping cart table correct so for that i need to see condition is if if your shopping cart products this is the table this is your table if this exist that means go here select exist equal to true right but here action mode is verify i want to verify if this table exist or not if this exist then let's go to your loop what it needs to do it needs to start emptying the cart correct so control t again shopping cart in import the same module and here i need to select right in the table this is my first row i have to select first row checkbox so for that go to rows and then select this first row dollar 1 so i have already explained you about how to handle the tables web tables in my previous sessions okay i would recommend you guys to visit those videos okay and here once you select one you will see see remove this is my remove column remove column right under this remove column again here my um action mode should be again select sorry not this one so this one this one this one is select under remove column under remove column there is a remove checkbox i need to check this right so that's why i have to change this to input and this is uh, select this as true this checkbox should be true understand so this checkbox is true select 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 and then this is true and once that is done so once i select this i need to update the shopping cart so for that click on shopping cart update shopping cart button correct once that is done again it goes back to the condition do you have a shopping cart still yes again come here again now select the first check box and then update the shopping cart so as soon as you update the shopping cart your shopping cart is let's say select this update the shopping cart done right now i have another item so it goes back to the condition still this table exist yes and then it goes here and selects your first selects your first check box and then clicks on update shopping cart correct so that's how we are going to perform so once that is done i think we are good now we are ready to run this particular reusable test step block correct so let's okay for that first before you run you need to make sure that you have some let me add some more uh, items to the shopping cart okay let me add this also to the shopping cart and then let me add this also to the shopping cart okay um okay let me select this 
add to the shopping cart okay so i have total four items okay and here yeah i have two bags okay right now i need to run now okay you should be login and then let's oh you need not to click on your it's going to click on shopping cart anyway so let's go here okay okay so now right click and run in scratch book See, click on shopping cart. Now, see, it checked the first checkbox, updated shopping cart, second, updated shopping cart. Now it's empty. It's going to log out and then it's going to close the browser. Right? Once this login link identifies, it will close the browser. Done. It's closed the browser. So, our test case is passed. See, everything is passed. While loop, repeated how many times see this while loop repeated four times because there are four items one two three four that is the reason it repeated four times and then logged out and waited until the login appears and close the browser okay so hope you all understand the concept very well it is very very important concept in the real time okay if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you